Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about how to attach magnets to your envelopes or your flaps. Um, there's a few ways to do it, so we're going to look at some of those ways. So I've got this beautiful envelope created here, and I could just glue it down and all that, but what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to put two magnets here and let that kind of hold it closed so that the recipient can actually open it the whole way, and there's a lot we could do inside here. So let's look at one way to put these magnets down. Now you know the magnets have a north and a south, and these are very strong, oh, what do they call them? Ni ni nickel, nicodian. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. Um, this is on Amazon. They call them neodymium magnets. But if you just search for super strong, itty bitty, tiny, thin, that's the important thing. They've got to be very, very thin to work. Okay, so you should be able to find that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a dot of glue. This is just a white glue. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of glue it is. And it doesn't really matter which side that I put down right there. That's just to kind of hold it in place temporarily. Then I'm going to circle this with glue, but I don't usually put more glue on top of this part that I want to stick. Now this is just one way to do it. Like I said, there's a lot of different ways. And then I take some washi tape. And the reason I do it with washi is because washi tape is thin, and if your cardstock gets too thick, sometimes your magnets won't stick. Now these are pretty strong magnets, so they'll go through a couple of layers of paper, but this particular card that I have made this envelope from is pretty heavy, and I don't think I could get through multiple, get it to stick through multiple layers, okay? So there's that magnet, okay? Now we want it to match up down here, and we want to get it exactly in the right place. So here's what I do. I put the second magnet, and I let I let it find its mate, okay? So I know it's on there the wrong way. If you do it, I mean the right way, if you do it the wrong way, it'll repel itself, of course. Had to take something completely apart a while ago because of that. But anyway, all right, so I put that one on there so I know it's stuck the right way. I put a little bit of glue, and then I fold it down to where it's going to go, and that glue makes a mark for me. Now I take it and put it that same glue side down so that I know these two are going to match each other. And then I am going to circle it again with some white glue. Put a little more glue here and there. And all of that's just to make sure that washi tape sticks. I wouldn't trust just the washi tape without some glue underneath it. And then I just kind of center that magnet in that washi tape, and then we are going to trim that little extra piece off, and trim that little, and then you can make your washi tape match your paper um, if you, as closely as you can, if you don't want it to show. I usually just use it as a decorative element, part of my whatever I'm making, so, okay, then Boom, there's our magnet, okay? And it matches up well because we we did it that way, so we know it would match up. So there's one way to do a magnet. All right, let's do another. Okay, so this time I've got this little envelope here. This is made with wallpaper, and I think it needs a magnet. It needs something to hold it closed there. So we are going to stick a magnet down up under here. But we need to cover it with something, because if not, when you stick a card in there, it's going to hit that magnet and get stuck. So let's cover it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to look at where the top magnet is going to be before we do that one. 
okay so but I'm not gonna put the top magnet in yet because I don't want that to be in my way but you can see that this one's gonna have to be right here pretty close to the top which is good because if it was down further it'd be hard to reach and I was going to show you I've got these magnets in two different sizes and I'm not kidding you <laughs> When I say they're strong, I'm not kidding you. See, there's that size, a little bit larger, maybe half inch and three eighths or something like that. But these boogers, you you try to get them apart, and so and I even bought some at Harbor Freight one time. So um, you can get them anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece of paper and I'm going to take one magnet, and this is just a scrap piece of paper. All right, I'm going to take my glue, and I'm going to glue that little magnet down. And then I'm going to add some glue around the edges, and I'm going to make sure to get all the way to the edge because I don't want it to be an obstacle when I'm placing a card or something down inside there. All right, now we're just going to slip it right inside the front edge of that envelope. Okay, so there's the magnet right there. It's right there in there. All right, now then. Okay, now this envelope has, I mean, yeah, this wallpaper has this purple. And I found this. It'll match one of the purples in there. So I think I'm going to line this envelope. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting this purple all the way down inside like so. I may end up having to trim a hair off well maybe not maybe to be okay we'll see well it's still a little crooked ain't it i don't like crooked okay so we'll trim a little bit of that off <clears throat> in a minute okay so now the other half the other magnet we're going to do it the same way we're going to find that one let it find its partner <clears throat> and then make sure it's in the center and i'm going to put a little dot of glue but now this time instead of folding it up folding it up and just touching that I'm gonna take that magnet now and make sure you know the glue side down make sure you when you put it up here your glue side goes down I want it to line up it's not quite as easy when you're doing it this way all right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue some of my liner down so that it'll, uh-oh, hello, get back in there, so it won't fl be flapping up in the way. And I'm going to go ahead and fold that, the top part of that envelope where it was folded, making sure I've got the purple in there too now. All right, let's see where I'm. Come here, magnet. Let's see where our magnet went to. All right, so I'm going to stick. That ain't, okay, that ain't working real good. But I'm going to go ahead and trim this off right now because it's in the way. All right, let's try this. If we fold this over and stick that magnet in there, let's see which way does it go. It goes this way. If we just stick that magnet right in there. There we go. Now it found its partner. All right, can you see what I did? There's the edge of the magnet down in there. Now we'll go ahead and glue and go ahead and glue the rest of this liner down. Make sure I put glue all the way around the magnet. That was kind of a, a roundabout way of doing it. Wasn't it? <laughs> but there you go. All right, so now you've got this pretty little purple liner in here and it has a magnetic closure. Click. Okay, let's look at another idea. Okay, if you've ever made a trifold envelope booklet, that's what I'm fixing to do. Um, and I'm going to show you how this works. You, I have a tutorial on this already, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you how to put this together, because if I don't forget, I will link that below. And show you how to put a the trifold booklets together um trifold envelope all right so let me finish that okay so all i have is three envelopes i glued the flaps down 
this one goes in this one goes over all right so here's our little trifold booklet so we're ready to decorate it but i want this to close right here with magnets okay so i'm going to put magnets here and here and here and here and in order to do that, there's two ways you can do it. I can even either go up under here, and I can add those magnets to hide them, which I might do. But I've got to put some paper over this to cover this anyway. So I'm going to put the magnets under that paper. Okay, so I have, my envelopes are four by nine and a half. So I have just cut a piece of paper just a smidge smaller than that because I want to make sure there's plenty of room for the fold. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and this time we're just going to use tape, regular tape. It doesn't have to be washi tape if you if you don't want to use washi tape. We can just use regular clear tape. All right, you guys, let go. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put one magnet. Let's move it down just a hair to make sure I've got room to put it and I'm just taping that magnet down because it's going to be in between the two layers of paper where did it go okay so I've got a magnet here and a magnet here and they're both taped down now I'm going to go ahead and glue this panel down okay so we've got this panel glued down now we need to see where is it going to end up it's going to end up right here so we want these magnets to match up with two other magnets right here so we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier as far as allowing the magnet to find its mate all right now we know where these are going to go okay so all i'm going to do i'm going to put a dot of glue on that magnet and i'm going to take a little piece of my clear tape I'm going to fold it over where it's going to end up, and now I can see. Now, take the magnet, glue side down, so I flipped it upside down to make sure we've still got two mates that are not going to repel one another. <laughs> okay, same thing down here. Put a dot of glue, close it over, find out where that glue dot is. We're going to take a piece of tape. Flip the magnet over, glue side down, and we are going to tape. Okay, now I'm going to cut another panel to fit this page. Okay, so this panel is completely glued down, and now when we shut our book, click, it is stuck with magnets, top and bottom. And now all you have to do is finish decorating your book. So you finish these two pages, finish these two pages, but at least you know where your magnets are so that you don't cover that up. And I'll give you another idea um, that you can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can, to, in order to save magnets, if you're using a whole lot of them and you, they're a little expensive, you can just take a metal washer, just like that. And if your paper is thin enough, let's see if this let's see if this envelope is if your paper is thin enough you can have a washer on one side and you can have one of these super magnets there we go see it found it see the washer so you can actually use that and it'll be a pretty strong um, bond like if you're going through washi tape that'll work now if you're going through cardstock the washer may or may not hold it but I have used it um, quite a few things before <laughs> it's finding every magnet on the thing now okay guys so there's a few ideas for you to use magnets in your work and of course you can use them with belly bands and all kinds of fun stuff so we may do something like that next time thanks for watching have a great day bye bye